Hey guys, welcome back. So, do you know about those creatures that used to exist in the night and the fans with holes? They're called mammoths or so. Well, anyway, today, that's what we are playing The Odyssey of Mammoth. Welcome to the Odyssey of the Mammoth. My name is Scott Bennings, and I'll be accompanying you today as we venture back in time, back to the end of the last ice age. The lost vegetation covering these steps marks the beginning both of the Holocene and of the extinction of the man. Far from its herd, a young calf is spending some time by the river. The adorable creature is clueless with the danger it has walked into as it enjoys its time near the water. But nearby, trouble is approaching. The footage that we are looking at is a simulation of the world of 12,000 years ago. This powerful giant, capable of breaking most things in its way, is the woolly mammoth. Its species has existed for thousands of years, even before that era, but wasn't able to adapt and survive into a modern world. Hence, this isn't footage from a real camera, but a digital one, seemingly attached to this particular female pachyderm. I can only hypothesize that we are about to follow her journey of survival and her inevitable demise to this cruel environment. But for the moment, there is another who is in much greater immediate danger. The young calf is fighting off some courageous hunters who have seen an opportunity to make a name for themselves. But this ingenuity is meaningless in the face of individual strained differences. Nevertheless, the baby mammoth is hurt and needs care. For animals in the wild, only time may heal all wounds. Or this cloudberry bush. Huh. This isn't historically or even scientifically. Regardless of the many wonderful plants in the great verdant scenery now appearing before the eyes of our duo, mammoths could not actually survive off this land. The warmer climates and expanding vegetation were a curse to the mammoth's way of life. It preferred the colder, previous ecosystem known as the mammoth step. These creatures might as well be currently staring into the fiery pits of hell itself. They will have to migrate. pressing matter is at hand. It appears another ambush is about to befall or two. Let us silently observe how the older pachyderm protects her offspring, if at all. Though I admire their courage, attacking a supervised baby mammoth with nothing but axes was a very optimistic endeavor. I can only assume those mammoths are now silently celebrating their victory. Come on, humans. 
Don't give it to them so easily. Because it appears it's time for another ambush already. Good luck, human. Using encirclement tactics is definitely a smarter move. Too bad that stump is ridiculously strong against those. That's cheating. Despite what prowesses they may be showing here, I assure you that mammoths did not cause the extinction of the human race. Do I feel a fraudulent air of superiority emerging from the mammoth mother? Does she fancy herself to be superior to humans? I wouldn't voice that opinion out loud were I to be in her metaphorical shoes. I wouldn't taunt Faith. Because Faith appears to have it out for her calf. There's more enemies waiting ahead on this trail. Yet, this will also offer a great opportunity for the mother to charge through them. Huh. It seems this one might have a bit of a brain under her head bump. Regardless of the physically large size of their brain, mammoths were not known to be smarter than you. Please, do not mistakenly fancy yourself to be intellectuals, you woolly lowly beasts. Now this is more like it. Spears, javelin, the throwing stick. Decide to get rid of those pesky mammoths. It's not that I'm rooting against them per se, it's just that those humans have really given it their all to subdue these creatures, and they're being treated like throwaway jokes. Faceless grunts in a hero's journey. Well, I'm not having it. Someone has to tell those mammoths how things really are. It's a cruel and unfair world, and the story is one that is bound to end up in tragedy. They are slaves to history and the torrential passage of time. And they really gotta get out of this place. I mean, it's trying to kill them every few seconds. No, but like, for real, what is this? It's crazy. That's not normal, right? I mean, what's happening? I'm sorry, <laughs> perhaps I was being a bit too gruesome there. I suppose one could envision a certain beauty to the way those mammoths refuse to give in, regardless of the difficulties ahead. For instance, this river here could be a cursed chasm of the deepest regrets. The mother might be fine, but the baby mammoth, it won't attempt to cross it like her. Oh, what a useless boy. That's definitely what she's thinking right now. I'm sure she would just leave him behind if that thing wasn't sticking to her like glue. Not like there's much of a point to bring him around. What good is he anyway? Thinks he's all that, just cause he's a little bit cute. Another combat, another chance for her favorite death way to show off his absolute lack of utility. Go get them, baby mammoth. Don't feel too bad, humans. These violent creatures will go instinct in time. Though I suppose this was still mostly self-defense. And I suppose that adorable blub is doing its best avoiding most of the hits so far. But thankfully for them, this looks to be the way out of those inhospitable plains. Both the mammoth mother and the adorable munchkin here should be getting some peace and quiet soon. I suppose I must oblige that some congratulations are in order for making it this far. So yeah, good job.
it appears we've jumped ahead to another part of their journey. Now if the previous depth that was corrupted by heatwave and useless vegetation was bad, this is another level. Mammoth did not live neither in forest nor this close to the mountainside, but this is one last barrier that they'll have to somehow cross to get to the colder weather up north. Especially if they're planning to go to, uh, what was the name again? No, they, they wouldn't know about it anyway, so... Looks like there are humans here too. Let's see if those guys fare any better. Great job once again, humans! Though, really, I shouldn't be surprised at this point. But wow, this place is real pretty. And here on the left, we can see some traditional ancient human habitations, which are now, well, abandoned. Here are some much less abandoned houses. Feels like a bunch of clown cows though. Yeah, really know the way to break those, huh? It's kinda satisfying to watch, honestly. Well, on another note, I finally remembered something important. There is a place called Ringo Island. It's an island far up north in the frozen sea between Asia and America. It's where the last known mammoths were known to have lived, as recently as 4,000 years ago. But with the warming up at the end of the Ice Age, the ice connecting the island to the rest of the world is surely melting away by now. I don't think these guys could make it there, anything, even if they knew about it. You guys know humans used to push mammoths off of high hedges to hunt them? It was the best way to deal with those invincible beasts. Doesn't feel like those guys have caught onto that yet though. Looks like our four-legged team has turned the fictional equally four-legged tables on their aggressors. Yeah, that's a lot of fire over there. Seems like the little one isn't a fan of the flames. I bet anything those humans might use that against them somehow.
So, yeah, that's how it could have ended back there. I'll be honest, I was picturing something a bit more cartoonishly amusing earlier. But yeah, this is uh, not that. Um, oh, did you know that elephants and mammoths are said to be capable of as many complex emotions as we humans get? And we humans, we can get attached to just about anything with a name. So perhaps we should give our duo some nicknames, since we've been following them for so long already. How about Mamum and Little Flunky? I've, n uh, I've never been good at names. Another river. You know, I uh, almost drowned in one as a kid. Rivers are crazy. Oh, that's uh, breathtaking. That explains the need for all the flames. <laughs> so many different drawings here. Oh, there's more people here as well. Looks like those are more equipped for war than for artistry, though. I uh, used to draw a lot as a kid, you know. I'd get in trouble if I rolled on the walls, though. <laughs> I drew this elephant from a cartoon that I, I can't remember the name of. To show it to my mom. It had ears so big, they dragged on the floor, and uh, she was always uh, busy and. Uh, <laughs>
this drawing. It reminds me of a... Uh, is that Wrangel Island? Looks like some sort of promised land. They all look so happy and... Uh, that's where... That's where Frankie and Mamu should go. Hey, um, Mammoths, I apologize for my previous pessimism. I want to see you guys get there, and I think you guys can do it too if you hurry. So, let's get you to Wrangle Island. Another jump ahead. Some cold air here at long last. I think we can hear the ocean close by as well. Not much longer now, I'm sure. I can feel it. This must be the way leading to Wrangel Island. I can see a few more huts ahead, but chances are that these may be peaceful northern tribes. I don't foresee any more combat ahead. And I was wrong! Okay, well, too bad for them. Go get them, Mamam. Frankie and I are watching your back. Wow, that's a lot of humans. Are we getting closer to like an, an actual village? How frustrating. We go here to deal with these and there's more coming out of those over there. These bipeds sure are pests. Way, way with these guys. But no matter, Pachyderms would get the best of us.
Ah, oh, give it a rest. My mammoths have got places to go. Give it a rest. My mammoths have got places to go. <laughs> yes, let's go. You can't get rid of us so easily. I know chaos, and I was some chaos back there. This place, in contrast, is quite serene. Maybe now we can finally take a peaceful hike through the snow. Thank you so much. I was getting so tired of being relaxed, really. <laughs> My mom is just shoveling these humans. What a good role model for Frankie. Enjoy hiking. Um, I got some really bad memories of last time I went. And, uh, but with Mamum here, there is nothing to fear. Huh. Do the things surrounding us will have any effect? You fools! We cannot be actually. Let's keep that close, okay? Uh, no time taking risks here. Put the water and all. of it now. Don't worry, Frankie. Mamon's there for us.
That was sort of a tough one, gotta say. You guys did really well. Hey, been a while since we last saw one of these. Makes me almost nostalgic. Ah, uh, I used to hate your guts, my mom. And Frankie was always the best, of course. Sure. Feels like we should heal up here with the cool and scientific magic berries uh, before going further. Ugh, that's unforgivable. While I respect humans reusing everything they can get from a hunt for food and shelter, this... This is just a war trophy. Let's teach them some respect. Prepare for a hard battle, Mamma. Stay vigilant and on the move. This is do or die. I'll stay silent and let you focus. Time to observe all the older packaging next to Rossi. I know she will. Yes! It's in the bag! We did it! <laughs> I can't believe it. We took down an entire village. Look at me, world! We can't get beaten down. <laughs> There's nothing you can throw at us that we can't overcome. Nothing bad can happen to us here. We're invincible! There it is. What a crowning jewel of a view. Take it all in. Or, all right, let's climb down and start heading over there. This looks slippery. Uh, let's take it slow. You wouldn't want to slip on something now. We're approaching the end of our journey already. This is exciting. You guys are gonna join with the rest of your species over there, make new friends, and, well, I'll get to ramble of all the fun you guys will be having. And of course, you guys want to have me around narrating your lives, right? You guys aren't gonna just like ignore me as I'm talking to you in the background, right? At least, uh, I hope this footage goes that far. I'm not exactly uh, 
<laughs> ready to uh, <laughs> uh Oh, Frankie looks pretty excited. We're so close now. We're almost to the island. No! Frankie! What? Mom, mom, what are you doing? Get in there! Mom, help him! Help me, Mom! Uh, pay attention to me, Mom! Sorry, uh, uh of course. Um, Frankie's fine. <laughs> Mammoths, uh, mammoths learn to swim uh, very early on, and uh, he doesn't need his mom's help anymore. Um, I'm sorry, I, I need a moment. I'm um, maybe I uh, just go look around for another way to the. Yeah, sorry about that back there. Um, I might have a, a few phone calls I gotta make. <laughs> I suddenly feel like um, I should call my mom. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, Hey, I'm. I think I'm just gonna go. This was a mess. Sorry, I should reschedule this for another time. Um, but um, thanks for the adventure, buddy. Really, uh, I mean it. I know you'll catch up to Frankie in no time. And me, um, I'm just gonna. Yeah. Okay. Um, bye. <laughs>